Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video we are going to create whole tables for single phase, multi phase and parallel phase and we are going to address different type of errors during whole table creation. So let's get started and for that I have this block part where I have number of holes in different phases and for these holes we are going to add different type of whole tables. So let's create a drawing to add a whole table. Drawing, name and OK. Say OK. So this is my drawing. Now here let's add all the axes first. Select all the views. Now let us create the whole table. Go to table, whole table, create and then it is asking you to select coordinate system. Select the coordinate system. The moment you select this coordinate system, this error comes. No item found. What does this error mean? So the meaning of this error is this coordinate system, whichever face it is placed, there is no holes on that face. So let us see this part. Switch on your coordinate system. Now you see carefully that your coordinate system is placed on this face and there is no hole available in this face. That is why we are getting a message saying no item found because there is no hole available on this face. So it is saying no item found. Now we are creating table for these holes the holes available in this phase. So we need to add one coordinate system to this phase. So let us create a new coordinate system. And for that you go to coordinate system. Select this node. Go to orientation. Click here. And select this edge as X direction and this edge as Y direction. Now if you see this coordinate system carefully, you will find that this X direction is positive y direction is a negative and z direction is again negative. So there is a rule to create a coordinate system for whole table placement and that rule says that z direction should always be normal to the face where the holes are placed and all three directions should be positive direction. So let's flip y to make everything positive. Now we see x is positive, y is positive and z is normal to this face. So the coordinate system rule is getting satisfied. Now say OK. Fit. And for time being just hide this coordinate system. And go to the drawing. Now here once again go to whole table. Create. And select this coordinate system. Now again when you select this coordinate system you get an error saying coordinate system CS1 has incorrect orientation. Now why this new error is coming? Now this new error is coming because you are selecting coordinate system from your model tree. When you select coordinate system from your model tree, by default it selects the base view. So if you see this base view, this coordinate system is getting selected. And that is why it is giving the error. Because here the Z direction is not normal to this view. Now the same thing if we try directly here, then you don't get any error. It is saying select top left corner for table. Just click outside anywhere and you are getting the table. So either you make practice to select corner system from the view or if you have a practice to select corner system from the model tree, then change your base view to the view for which the whole table is required. For example, I will just delete this table. I will delete this base view and I will create my own base view. Go to general view, OK, place the view, change the view, go to projection, select all view, change this to hidden and apply. Now you directly go to table, whole table, create, select this coordinate system from model tree, place the table. Now you are getting the table without any error. Because you created your own view, 
and you made this view as base view. So if you select coordinate system from your model tree, then also it will work. You will not get any error. Now let us add all the axis for all the views. So now you have all the axis, your views and your table. Now this table which we just created, this is an example of single face table because we added all the details for one face. Now I am going to create a table for parallel face and for that go to table and first delete this table. So now if you see this face, you will find that there are four other holes which is in the back face of this part. So these two faces are parallel face and we can club the holes on these two faces in one table. So let's try it. But before that, let's have a small break. And meanwhile, you can like this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. And for this, go to table, whole table. And this time you go for data maxis. Create and select the coordinate system. Place it. Now if you see, you have totally 13 holes here, including front face and back face. That 13 holes you are getting here. But if you see carefully, you are getting axis name here instead of whole numbers. And there is no whole numbers available here. So this table is created based on these axis names. And this is totally 13 numbers. If you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So the position of all 13 holes are captured in this table. So this is the way to add whole table positions for parallel faces in one table. Now we will talk about multi faces table. And there is no such options available to club all the holes in one table in Kiro parametric. So if you are going for multi face whole table, then you need to have multiple tables for all the faces. And if you are going to have multiple tables for all the faces, then you must have one coordinate system for each faces. Now let's create multiple tables for multiple faces. And for that, first delete this table. So I have all the required views. Now I'll add multiple tables for all the views. And for that I must have coordinate system for each face. So I'll go to the part. So for this face I already have one coordinate system. Now for this face I will create one new coordinate system. I'll select this face. I'll attach this drag handle like this. I'll make zero. And this is also 0. Now you see z direction is towards you. Now flip your x direction. Say OK. Now go for bottom view. One more coordinate system. Now flip your x direction, say ok. So now you have coordinate system for all the faces. Go to the drawing and now create whole table one by one. Go to tables, whole table, create. If you are creating for these four holes, then select coordinate system, this one and place here. Again go for whole table, create, if you are creating whole table for this one, select this coordinate system, place here. Again whole table, create, if you are going to create table for this face, then select this coordinate system, place here. So 
so this is how we can add tables for single phase multi phase and parallel phases and in my next video i'll talk about three other things which is how to add standard whole details in your whole table how to split your whole table and how to modify or update your whole table so this was the whole idea about whole tables and the errors during whole table creation and i hope this video will be helpful and don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel thank you so this is it guys now like this video if the video is helpful share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates